The TMW Partner Program includes over 200 partners representing nearly 600 integrations. The diversity of this ecosystem includes partners in mobile communications, fuel, mileage, EDI, and others. For information on our partner program or any of TMW's strategic partners, feel free to contact me directly at any time. Today's strategic partner is Extol. Jim O'Leary of Extol will be speaking, and he ha they hail from the EDI section of our TMW partner ecosystem. Today's presentation is entitled, Increase the Reach of Your TMS to Better Meet Customer Needs and Improve ROI. Jim, take it away. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. And thanks to our audience for taking time out of your days to join us. Let me introduce today's webinar topic by listing some of the uh, business integration challenges that we hear most often when we talk with transportation, logistics, and distribution companies. So first of all, just about every business wants to integrate faster and cheaper, uh, particularly when a new customer or key vendor relationship is established. And ensuring compliance with service level agreements and improving vendor scorecard ratings are also common concerns because they can affect both revenue potential and profitability. Companies in highly competitive markets frequently need to differentiate by offering value-added services and information, which requires integration on both counts. And if a business deals with offshore suppliers or has many small EDI partners, um, I'm sorry, many small partners, EDI often isn't an integration option. So they need other ways to automate connections with those partners and avoid expensive manual processing. And across the board, providing easy access to information like pricing, delivery status, and transaction history is an important integration dependent requirement. Now, of course, the job of solving these and other integration problems frequently falls on the shoulders of IT, which has its own challenges, including gaps and overlaps in available middleware and tools, chronic shortages in IT staff and IT skills, dealing with unexpected demand peaks while maintaining system throughput, and as a general, mis a general point, mismatch between business deadlines and IT's capacity to deliver solutions. So during today's webinar, we're going to talk about how to solve the kinds of business integration challenges you see here, while avoiding critical IT problems that can limit your ability to achieve important business goals. So here's the agenda we have planned. I'll start with a quick introduction to Extol and then introduce the subject of today's webinar with an overview of business integration why it's essential, and the important enabling role that middleware plays in all kinds of integration cases. After that, I'll spend a couple of minutes explaining why integration alone isn't enough and why the way you decide to integrate is the most important factor in your integration success. Then I'll briefly introduce our integration solution, Extol Business Integrator, and then hand the floor over to Les Bicknell, who will be talking about his recent integration project experience at USA Truck. Okay, before we dig into the material, let me quickly introduce you to Extol and the customers we serve, in case you're not already familiar with us. Uh, Extol is a privately held independent software vendor. We build and market software products for e-business integration and directly support them from our headquarters in Pennsylvania. Extol serves customers in many industries, including transportation, distribution, and logistics, food and consumer packaged goods, industrial manufacturing, retail, and other sectors. Our customers use our software to integrate enterprise applications and data internally and with external trading partners and cloud applications. And there are three main things that make us different from our competitors. First is the ability to solve multiple kinds of business integration problems with a single investment in middleware, tools, and skills. Second is the, the lower total cost of ownership and faster time to value that we offer due to the productivity and ease of use that our automated tools provide. And finally is the customer support and service that we provide with our US-based uh, support organization, which is located adjacent to our development team in Pennsylvania. OK, with that quick introduction to Extol, <clears throat> let's move into the material. And here are just a few of the uh, uh, transportation-related companies who are Extol customers. Um, and I should point out that these businesses represent a wide range of company sizes and IT environments and integration focus, and most use our products for EDI and other kinds of business-to-business -business integration, but some also use our technology for application, data, and cloud services integration. 
Now all the business integration categories I just mentioned, B2B, application, data, and cloud, have several things in common. Uh, they all use middleware to connect, synchronize, and share data between systems that weren't designed to work with each other. Middleware for standard electronic data interchange, for example, connects, synchronizes, and shares data between external trading partners and your application and data systems. But as this diagram shows, a similar middleware approach can be applied to other integration needs, like synchronizing a cloud application with an ERP or transportation management system, or extracting and transforming data for application migrations or business intelligence analyses. By automating connections and data sharing inside and outside your business, business integration middleware delivers important business benefits, like increased processing speed and efficiency, reduced costs through replacement of manual processes, and reduced latency and improved response to customers. But as I mentioned earlier, just deciding to integrate isn't enough to maximize benefits. It's the way you decide to integrate that determines what kinds of integrations you can deliver, how long it takes, how much it costs, and how easily you can modify and extend integrations as your environment changes. So let's take a look at that next. Now, historically, different middleware solutions have been designed for specific purposes like electronic data interchange, uh, cloud integration, data integration, and so on. But applying a different point solution to each kind of integration requirement poses two major problems. The first problem is that it takes multiple point solutions to address all of the integration needs in a typical business. Acquiring and maintaining multiple point solutions is not only expensive, it also multiplies the overhead required in IT to configure, deploy, maintain, and migrate each solution as changes occur in the business and IT environments. But an even bigger problem is that each point solution comes with its own set of tools, user interfaces, APIs, best practices, and learning curves. And many tools still require programming or scripting in order to integrate with on-premise applications and data, so that a mix of skills is needed for every project. The resulting tool and skill silos that we see, see here greatly increase the cost and complexity of e-business integration and slow the delivery of integrations that are required by the business. So as part of your business integration strategy, it's extremely important to avoid the costly mistakes that we see on this diagram. Now, the Extol solution avoids the problems we just saw. Extol Business Integrator is a single middleware product and tool set for integrating customers, vendors, on-premise applications, cloud services, and enterprise data in any combination. It comes complete with all the components you need for business integration, including a powerful automation engine, adapters for on-premise and cloud applications, partner communications and data resources, and a comprehensive web-based dashboard for monitoring and analyzing integration activities and results. And it includes a powerful set of tools for creating and maintaining business integrations, all without writing code. The result is that EBI avoids redundant overlapping middleware investments and the tool and skill silos that we just saw a few minutes ago that are a major cause of integration project complexity, cost, and delay. Now, <clears throat> the final point I'd like to touch on before I in, in, introduce Les is the degree of flexibility that Extol offers when it comes to choosing how you want to license, host, deploy, implement, and manage your integration environment, as you can see in this chart. You can mix and match each of the options that you see here to customize the way that you want to use the Extol solution. And if your needs change or your priorities change, you can change your mind at any point. Okay, now that you know what our technology can do for your business, let me turn the floor over to Les Bicknell, who's the Director of Applications Development at USA Truck, to talk about his own integration experience. Okay, Les, over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. As uh, Jim mentioned, my name is Les Bicknell. I am currently in my 15th year of employment with USA Truck and the IT department. Uh, my main responsibilities include the implementation and support of all technical systems. Uh, this includes, uh, but is not limited to, our transportation management system, which is TMW, and our EDI applications. Uh, today, I'm specifically going to discuss our migration to the Extol Business Integrator or EBI solution. 
Uh, originally, all of the major systems at USA Truck resided on an IBM mainframe and were developed in-house. Although this gave us complete control over the application, meaning we could customize any application, including EDI, it was very resource intensive because my staff was responsible for any and all updates. We were spending a lot of time altering applications because of changes in standards or advances in technology and less time fulfilling customer requests. In 2010, we changed our strategy as a company and decided to incorporate third-party applications to perform functions that were generic to the industry and use our development staff to only create things that could not be purchased and or are unique to USA Truck. Part of that decision was to convert from the proprietary mainframe dispatch system to TMW. And subsequently, because of the tight integration between the dispatch system and EDI, we began our search for a new business-to-business -business application as well. We were somewhat spoiled by having total flexibility of an in-house developed system, and we were very picky in selecting a replacement system uh, because we didn't want to limit our capabilities from an EDI or business perspective. USA Truck is a full truckload carrier utilizing the normal transactions associated with this transportation sector, uh, 204 load tenders, 990 acceptance rejections of the tenders, 214 status updates, and 210 electronic billings are, are very common in our realm of business. Uh, we also have an intermodal and brokerage division, so it was imperative that our replacement system be robust enough to handle any EDI transaction we could throw at it. USA Truck is also a fairly large organization. Uh, we have over 2,200 tractors providing status updates uh, to a network of over 300 EDI trading partners. So obviously we needed a system that was scalable and able to support this type of volume. The ability to perform multi-threaded transactions was also a major functionality requirement. Some of the software we evaluated, including the one that was originally packaged with TMW, were single-threaded. We needed something more. Uh, we needed the ability to segregate our core customers so their processes would not be affected by any issues we were having with some of the smaller mom and pop operations. On the integration side, since we are a TMW customer, the integration to and from TMW is performed through the use of flat files. Um, if you're familiar with TMW or data exchange, uh, you know that data exchange is either cycling or looking through, uh, looking for inbound 204 tenders to pick up and process, or the scheduler is extracting 214 update statuses and 210 electronic billing flat files for the EDI translator process. EBI easily handles these interactions with the use of file system monitors and endpoints that are modular and reusable. The ability to reuse those modules gives us an advantage in that we can share common objects across multiple customer setups. Very handy during implementation uh, so that we have our endpoints in our test system pointed to our test databases and um, the same for our production. So when it, times, when it comes time to move these things up and implement them into production, there's just a lot, lot less chance of making mistakes or, making, or having to make those changes. Uh, the same goes for the mapping. We try to create, create a generic base for each transaction and version that we can reuse for each customer as opposed from, to creating a map for each and every customer from scratch. Initial setup. Um, can be accomplished in as little as 30 minutes for customers with the five major transactions that I previously mentioned. And our transaction time is uh, very fast as well. We complete, uh, we have complete control over how we connect to the customer and, uh, and how often that happens. And, uh, but it's, un it's not uncommon to see tenders that are viewable in our EDI boards within the same minute they were created by the customer. And we're able to verify this by viewing the book date in the EDI transactions and compare against the order created timestamp in TMW. So we're very pleased with our 
our speed and able to process the transactions. Um, EBI can also be connected to other databases. Uh, this is very beneficial when information is required by the customer but may not, may not be present in the flat files I previously mentioned. Uh, with the proper credentials, we use EBI uh, to access and run SQL scripts or even called stored procedures we maintain internally. As far as visibility, um, we just upgraded in 2.1 of the dashboard and we're able to see the status of system processes, um, view archive transactions, and uh, also look at other KPIs we've um, configured in, in, a graph, in a really nice graphical interface. Some other functionality, the secure access, the, the ability to transmit via FTP is included with the EBI application. And recently, they've added the ability to uh, perform FTPS transactions, which is uh, the FTP secure. In addition, we also purchased the Dahl SX solution for customers who require AS2 protocol encryption. Before we made our decision, uh, we looked at a lot of the other vendors. We looked at Sterling's Gentran, uh, Boomi, Kleinsmith. And uh, we also contacted a lot of our peers, Covenant, Burris, Dart, Avert Express. And um, we questioned in them a lot of our decision factors, which included functionality, scalability, reliability, and customer service. And we had a lot of a positive feedback um, about the XDAL product before we made our decision. As far as um, you know, the hardware, we are running all of this in-house, although I believe Extal offers a, a cloud option, uh, but we're running ours in-house on a, on a Dell PowerEdge uh, R610 server. And then we run the ESX portion, it's just in the dashboard as well, just on a, on a VM. Um, training, uh, they also have a robust training plan. Um, some options there. We had uh, some uh, on-site training where we had a XDAL representative come in for a week at a time and train us on the product, and I think that was very beneficial for us. Um, they also offer an, uh, a remote XDAL university, and uh, that usually happens in uh, May of each year, and we've sent, we send a, a couple people to that as well, so I think that's very beneficial. So in conclusion, I would just like to say that, you know, XDAL had all the functionality of the larger providers at a much lower price, and we've really yet to encounter any request that we could not provide a solution through EBI. So uh, this time I'm going to turn it back over to Jennifer for an opportunity uh, for anyone to ask any questions. Thank you, Les and Jim, for that great information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for our presentation, Increase the Reach of Your TMS to Better Meet Your Customer Needs and Improve ROI. If you would like information from either TMW or XTOL, please feel free to contact us at jmcquiston at tmwsystems.com. Thank you, and have a great day.